Right. Listen up, guys. It's not nothing about nobody else right now. It's about us. It's our change. It's our time. Do your part. Everybody play a part today. Last year was last year. Make your own identity. Make something different. Yeah. I'm out of step in the ring for the fight of my life. Hit my knees and I strap on my gloves. Why I've been prepping since like I was... Welcome, everyone, to the latest edition of the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. I'm Sean Robertson. Great to have you with us on YouTube as well as on the Virginia Union Athletics website. Well, the trophy is here <laughs> in the building. The Panthers came back from Salem as champs of the CIAA first time since 2001. They took down Fayetteville State last Saturday, 21-10. to 10. And with that, there will be a 12th week for the Panthers this year. They will play Cutstown in the first round of the Division II playoffs. And we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. But with me right now, the 2023 CIAA Coach of the Year in the CIAA, Dr. Alvin Parker. Still celebrating, still basking <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in the victory on Saturday? Or are we turning the page and focusing solely on Cutstown? Uh, this one been the hardest to turn the page on. <laughs> you know, but we, we definitely turned the page and kind of focused on, you know, um, playoff-wise. But, um... We enjoyed it. You know, we enjoyed it. You know, um, the guys celebrated after the game, probably all the way till we got back to Richmond. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we knew um, Sunday was going to kind of be a work day for us. But, you know, we still had a little bit of fun. And, you know, um, in terms of preparation, you know, it was hard because we didn't know who we were going to play. You know, so, you know, we all just kind of got together collectively, fellowship, watched the selection show and, you know, and kind of went from there. As soon as we found out who we was playing, we were right back to the office working. So. We enjoyed it, but, you know, um, it, was, it was quickly on to the next. What did it mean for you personally? And I, and I know we'll talk about what it meant for the team and the staff. But for you, played here, uh, has had success here, but to finally be the guy to bring back the championship for Virginia Union at your alma mater, how special was last Saturday down in Salem? Um, it was kind of something that I, I felt, you know, was going to happen when I took the job here. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that um, we were going to be chasing championships, you know, so um, I wish it didn't take as long, so to speak, <laughs> but, you know, um, but we, we, we got out of the hump. We've been close every year, mm -hmm. and I feel like we've been doing, it, doing this thing a certain way, and we built it a certain way. And when I say we, I mean everybody that's been involved. You know, um, I've had a great group of coaches here with me. I had a bunch of dedicated players here with me, and I had a solid administration that, you know, have done everything that we pretty much have asked. So, you know, um, we've done a while with building this, and I, I'm, I'm glad with where we've come to. And the administration was here on last week's show, uh, uh, President Dr. Lucas, also uh, Coach Taylor. Um, they knew what it meant for you. You emphasized play for 11. Everybody bought in. And, you know, when they dumped the Gatorade, again, I know it was cold down there, Salem, when the, <laughs> when the sun set, just to see you guys just embracing the moment. Um, I know for those who were there and also those who watched, it just, it, it, it just seemed like it was a very, very special moment for Virginia Union to be back on the top of the mountain. It was very special. You know, um, we've had a great following all year. You know, um, you know, everybody came up starting this thing out in Ohio mm -hmm. and then finish it out, you know, as far as, you know, the CIAA regular season go in Salem. You know, we had the same type of crowd. You know, um, so, you know, I just want to thank, you know, all the supporters, the fans, everybody that kind of followed us all the way along the way, you know. But um, it was special just simply because, you know, um, I think, you know, people don't necessarily understand what goes into winning one football game rather than winning a championship. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I'm thankful every week, you know, first and foremost, you know, I want to thank God just for giving us just time of the fortitude to kind of keep it going and make it happen, you know. Um, and secondly, just like I said, thank everybody that just was involved. We were talking about it uh, before the show, you know, play favor second time. The first one, obviously, we all know about it, the tropical storm. They get that short touchdown um, late in the game to win it. But you gave up one offensive touchdown to Fayetteville in eight quarters for a team that had pretty, you know, pretty much handled their division. But when I played to you guys, they had some tough sledding uh, trying to get into the end zone against your defense. Our defense is special, man. You know, um, <laughs> Coach Pointer and the rest of them guys do an amazing job. And those guys over there that play on that side of the ball do an amazing job. And I just don't think they get the credit they deserve, you know. Um, and I don't know why the numbers are ridiculous. You know? <laughs> and, and so it's just, you know, but you don't hear them talked about enough, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, um, kind of even as far as like, you know, when the NCAA kind of announced our name, 
you know, they, they, they said a very bit about our defense, you know, um, who, who, like I said, who's ranked pretty much in every category in the nation mm -hmm. in the top. So, you know, um, and I mean, that even the one touchdown Fever got in the first game, you know, it took them four, four tries to get in from the one yard line, mm -hmm. you know, and um, this time we held them to a field goal. So, you know, like you said, it, the numbers are the numbers, you know, and I'm extremely proud of those guys over there. And I know um, some people had kind of uh, trolled some Twitter followers about uh, defense and, you know, travels and everything like that. So I'm going to go with Fayetteville State because their defense is good. And yet you see the numbers posting Virginia. What I think we said was you were in the top ten in like nine or ten major categories. Correct. In Division Two, mm -hmm. And you still lead the country in rush defense. Correct. This year. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, <laughs> all I need to be said about what you guys have done on that side of the ball. But yeah. Like I said, <laughs> we got some, some, some extremely special players over there. You know, and those guys take it, you know, upon themselves to make sure they bow all the way in. You know, um, any type of new opponent we see, them guys take it upon themselves, mm -hmm. like I said, to just lock in and, and make it happen. You know, and all, all guys over there do a great job of putting game plans together, and, and the guys do a great job of carrying it out. So, you know, uh, I'm excited to see how those guys play this weekend. And we talk about, obviously, the offensive side of the ball. You got three touchdowns. You got the touchdowns by Jada. He has two scores. And also Christian Reed with the quarterback sneak. It seemed like you guys – Again, controlled the line of scrimmage against Fayetteville. Made it a point that we're just going to run it, run it, run it until you stop. I think what well, Jada had 40 rushes, almost mm -hmm. 150 yards, and the two scores. Was was that a point of emphasis? I'm like, until you can show us that you can stop it, we just going to keep running the football. I mean, I think at that point it was kind of doing what we do best, mm -hmm. not necessarily worrying about what they could stop or what they what they were not good at. You know, it was doing what we can do best. You know, and I looked up. And, you know, after the game, I think we, you know, um, had the ball for about 42 minutes of the game. You know, um, so, you know, um, that wasn't the game plan going in necessarily. Mm -hmm. You know, the game plan was just to be the best us. And, you know, so happened that, you know, that best us was controlling the clock. You know, <laughs> and, and you talk about 42 minutes, you know, holding the ball in the game is, I've never had that. I was going to say, you're going to win a lot of games <laughs> if you can control so, it for 40 plus yeah, minutes like so, that. So, yeah, so it was kind of there. Well, we're going to talk much more about, the Panthers' uh, playoff opportunity this weekend. They're going to make another road trip. They've been fairly fairly successful on the road this year. We're going to talk about that as they got cuts town this weekend. But we got plenty more coming on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. We're going to talk to some of the coaches that played an integral part in the Panthers' success this season and hopefully continues this weekend in the first round of the playoffs. That's still to come here on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. The styles you want, the brands you love, with the service you deserve. Better menswear, from formal to casual wear. We carry quality men's clothing at sensible prices, where fashion and service meet affordability. That is Better Menswear. We're back here on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Normally at this time, we have the players come in, got our players' lounge segment, but right now we got the coaches' lounge segment, and we're going to focus specifically on the defense, the guys that really have done a great job all season, as Coach Parker mentioned in the first segment, nationally ranked in the top 10 in nine major categories. And we have them joining us here in our Coach's Lounge segment. We got defensive coordinator, Coach Porner. We have the cornerbacks coach, Coach Jones, safeties coach, Coach Rogers, and D-line coach, Coach Brown, all joining us here on this segment of the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Guys, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your success uh, this season. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we mentioned it in, in, in Parker's segment about, I, I joked about the troll, and we had some people talking about how, you know, Fayetteville State's defense might have been better, even though you guys are nationally ranked um, in the top ten in, in some major categories. Do you kind of use that as fuel during the course of a week to get ready for an opponent, given the success that you have had? I mean, you always want something to fuel you, but when you, you know, it's not uh, like you don't hear it, yeah. but hear the it. numbers have spoken for themselves this year, which you guys have done on that side of the ball. Yeah, I, I said we do use it. Mm -hmm. um, it it kind of it kind of bothered me because I know the work that these guys put in, and I know not just the coaches but the players, how much time they put in, how meticulous they are about, about a breaking a team down and understanding what they're doing and stopping them. Mm -hmm. For them not to get depressed that they should, and yeah, I use it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling me, this is another opportunity to show them and to show everybody that you're the best. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it uh, before we came on. Fayetteville State, solid team, great team, won their division. 
Um, offensively, they have been good all year, but when you hold them to one offensive touchdown in eight quarters, I mean, what does that say about you guys and how you've been able to really lock in on that particular opponent this year? I mean, personally, I think, I mean, just saying attitude reflect leadership mm -hmm. and the mindset that we have as a staff uh, and just following Coach Pointer, like, you got to have a lot of pride in what you do. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets in the paint. And I think our guys, they, they bought into the philosophy, the process, and they and they just have a lot of pride in what they do. Mm -hmm. And they just, they just want to be the best at what they do. And uh, that's something that Coach Pointer preaches on down to us and as we do to our athletes, our student athletes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Was it an easy buy-in for the guys this year? Yes, yes, I, I honestly believe um, it, they bought into everything that we asked. It wasn't no bickering or anything like that. They knew what Coach Porno wanted. They knew what the defensive staff wanted. You know, just knew what the team wanted. And we just bought in. We just saw the goal, and we knew the team that we had, mm -hmm. and we knew we could get it done. You got this trophy. Y'all brought yeah. this back on Saturday. What did it mean for you guys personally to be the group to break the streak? It had been 20-plus years since they had won a conference championship, since Junior had won a conference championship, and to bring that back from Salem. How special was that yeah, for you I'm, individually? Yeah, just, just thankful for the opportunity. Um, I'm a local guy, so I've drove past this field all my life. Mm -hmm. Played played on this field as a high school. You said where you where you went to school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. George Will. So you know, didn't do a lot of winning over there, but played played <laughs> on yeah, played on you know, have played on that field. Uh, mm -hmm. Played in the conference, coached in the conference, and um, you know, just just I know what it means to play there. My parents were growing up around here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Wilson Neal playing on that field, that program, and then for me personally, uh, Fayetteville State was as a coach or a player was the last team that I had to be in the conference. I beat everybody at least once except for Fairville State. Really? So, yeah, so that, that was, was first really one. special for you yeah, on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, that's my yeah. first one getting them. I, I was 0 for 2 before that try. So yeah. But you got the big one. That, that, that's, hey, I'll take that one <laughs> over the other two any day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I said it was special for me because I was a coach. I was a young coach mm -hmm. on that team in 2001. I was the linebackers coach. So to, you know, to look back at it, I think as the time was running up, down in that mm -hmm. game, I just looked back and said, wow, mm -hmm. 2001 was a great year for me because my daughter was born and I won my first championship. And to just think now, you know, winning it again mm -hmm. at the school that I, I graduated from, won the first one at, and to be the guy, a coach on this one. It's a special, special moment there yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, personally, I mean, uh, the DBs, they gave me a lot of heat because I went to Virginia State. Oh. So, <laughs> but but honestly, I mean, just seeing the guys uh, celebrate and uh, just be happy and just see all the work that they put in throughout the season just mm -hmm. come all in one and just 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 watch them have fun mm -hmm. and just uh, play play freely and just yeah. uh, just enjoy each other, the brotherhood that they they they've made with each other. Uh, just me being part of that and his defense. I mean, that's that was my just my happy spot. So you're willing to trade the orange and blue for the maroon to, to the championship? I, I get it. I get it. I get it. We'll hold it against you. We'll hold it against you. What about um, you with my defensive line, you know, I'm just proud of them. And w when I was hired here by coach, you know, my biggest thing was stopping the run. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the last two seasons, it's under ten touchdowns on the ground. We only allow one this year. Mm. And when you can stop a team from doing one thing, we can focus on the other. I always tell the D-line, stop the run, earn the right to rush the passer. And when we gave up that one rushing touchdown against State, they all joked about it. Mm. They said, all right, let's start a new one. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I'm just proud of, proud of the whole defense, you know. And, you know, start with the top, with the D.C., come down to us, you know, and just – we about to go get it. I was going to say, that's a stat I don't think I heard all year. Yeah. The fact you gave up one rushing touchdown this entire year, and it happened the last... Last year, I believe we gave up... It was under It was under eight, I believe, because wow. we didn't get a rushing touchdown until Bowie. Okay. Five. It might have been five. And that one rushing touchdown was at yes. the end of the year. Yeah, yes. against State. Well, we got about 30, 45 seconds left. I just want to get y'all individual thoughts about this weekend, the 12th week, we said play for 11, now we're going to play for 12. Mm -hmm. And this playoff week cuts town on the road. Road has been very good for you guys this year. Uh, thoughts about cuts town? I think they're, they're very sound. 
They don't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, I think if we come out, we line up properly like we've been doing, and we just play and be ourselves, we'll be fine. And like I tell the guys, now we can we can set a new record mm -hmm. and win a playoff game mm -hmm. and, and keep it going from there. But they, they're fired up about it. Okay. Um, really good football team. Uh, you know, as a corners coach, I really look at the receivers. Probably some of the best route runners we've seen all year. Um, it'd be a really good challenge for us, but our guys will be – up for the challenge, they're, they're going to embrace it. Coach Brown? Um, they love to run the ball. And, you know, they got big offensive line, and, and you know, they're going to be physical in the trenches. And um, our guys are going to take that challenge, and we're going to do what we do in the trenches. And we're going to leave the Trojan for last. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're, they're a very good, disciplined team. Uh, they're, they're not going to beat themselves. Um, just, just being back in safety's coach, I mean, like Coach Jones, you pay attention to the wide receivers and tight ends uh, to see what they like to do. And uh, really, if we just play Virginia Union football, I think just coming out, being confident in what we do, uh, we'll be in a good spot. Well, guys, congratulations again on bringing back the trophy to Virginia Union. Wish y'all the Thank best you. of luck and Thank safe you. travels when you guys go to Cutstown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got one more segment to come here on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Coach will be back to talk more about the playoff matchup against Cutstown right after this. Football is more than a game. It's a legacy built by trailblazers who paved the way for the next generation. I remember the doubters, but I refuse to let anyone define my limits. To the game changers who came before us and to the ones who are yet to step into the field, keep pushing boundaries, keep breaking records, and keep leaving your mark. All right, back for our final segment on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Again, big thanks to the defensive coaches of Virginia Union joining us in our Coaches Lounge segment as they get ready for a playoff matchup. Second year in a row, Virginia Union in the Division II playoffs. This year, they're going to make a trip to Pennsylvania to play Cutstown. Um, we kind of joked a little bit about the fact, hey, road has been good for you guys. Mm -hmm. Road or neutral site games, you're undefeated uh, this year. So this is like old hat for you going on the road to play a, a quality opponent. Yeah, when, when you get to playoff time, you know, it's kind of, you got to be had a mindset of um, anywhere, anytime, you know, <laughs> anybody. You, know, you got to kind of <laughs> have that kind of mindset to kind of go into the playoffs because you're going you're gonna to play against somebody that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't let you into the field unless, you, unless you're a good ball club. And I think, you know, um, the whole field that they selected this year were good ball clubs. Defensive coaches talked about uh, Cutstown collectively, offensively. But overall, as a conference, the PSAC's always been a top conference in Division II. Um, and it seemed like in, in past years, they would always match up CIAA against PSAC uh, sometimes in the playoffs. How good was the PSAC this year? I think they were a good, um, a good conference. You get, you get four teams in the playoffs out of one conference. That speaks volumes. You know, um, so that, that's something that, you know, um, you have to really, really look at, you know, um, and they have 16 teams in the conference. Mm -hmm. They kind of, you know, a little bit split like the CIAA with a um, East and the West mm -hmm. type of setup. But um, they have a bunch of good ball clubs, you know, a bunch of teams that, that won seven plus games in that league. So um, it's like it's kind of knocked down drag out every week in that league. So, you know, we, we really respect what they got going on. And what about specifically with Custown? We know they came off their uh, PSAC Conference Championship against uh, Slippery Rock. Um, how solid is uh, cuts down this year? Um, well, they played an excellent game in their championship game, and they got a win last week to make them champions. But um, they've been to the to the playoffs two of the last three years. I think Coach Clemens does a great job up there. You know him and his staff, and and just kind of you know getting a lot of kids to kind of understand what they're doing. They they're good at everything they do. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think to be a, a nationally recognized program like they are, you have to be. You know, they're good on offense, they're good on defense, they're good on special teams, and. Uh, like the um, other coaches said, you know, they don't make a lot of mistakes and they play good, good, good football. So, you know, we got to make sure we bring our A game up there. You know, um, it's going to be one of those type of games. I know with your, with your schedule, you played a lot of different styles. Does Cutstown remind you of somebody that you have already faced this year? Uh, it's tough to say they, they remind us of anybody we played. I think more so than anything, they remind us of ourselves. Oh, okay. You know, um, if anything, if I had to compare them to anybody, you know, I'm just kind of grinded out, tough, hard-nosed football team. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's kind of what they present. You know, um, like I said, so they 
like I said, they just seem to be extremely well coached, and they make timely plays, and, and they stop people from making a lot of plays. So, again, if I had to say they remind me of anybody, they kind of remind me of ourselves. The significance of this program or for this program to make back-to-back -back playoff appearances, not only for this group but moving forward, because, you know, we're going to be talking about recruiting and things of that mm -hmm. nature, but to, to say, hey, two straight years, we've made the postseason. We're one of the top 24, 26 teams in Division Two. How significant is that for, for Virginia Union football? Huge. I mean, I think, you know, um, recruiting is the lifeblood of any program. And um, at the end of the day, you may have some other stuff going on um, with, with name, image, likeness, and some <laughs> mm -hmm. other stuff going on mm -hmm. like that, you know, that can entice kids. But at the end of the day, everybody wants to be a part of a winner. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the biggest thing that we can present to you. You know, um, we're winners. You know, so, you know, once it's all said and done, we feel like we can, we can help you walk out of here with a, with a degree and a couple championships. You know, um, and that's what we can sell. And, you know, as long as we keep winning, it's going to be the top thing that we sell. I was going to say, was it 19 wins the last two years, playoffs two years, won a conference championship? I think you've <laughs> set a good foundation mm -hmm. for future athletes to come to Virginia Union to say, hey, look, this is what we got. This is what we brought to the table the last couple of years, and we want you to be a part of that. That is. You know, that's kind of where our message starts. You know, um, at the end of the day, you know, um, we got to sell ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, and ourselves are the ones who kind of got this program. And those statistics that you just said kind of speaks volumes. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we can give you. And um, we have a good dedicated staff, you know, um, that, that work hard and that love on the kids hard. And, you know, we, of course we can sell that. But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you know, we get people looking and turning to this page is, is those wins. And yep. I think that's what we present it. Well, this is our season finale of the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Team is going to make the trip to Cutstown, hopefully get a win uh, against Cutstown and then advance to the second round of the playoffs. But I want to get your final thoughts about this year as a whole, having your Coaches Show here on YouTube and also on the athletic website and just, uh, you know, talking about the year collectively and what you guys have been able to accomplish and hope to accomplish this weekend against Cutstown. Well, first with the show, everybody enjoyed it. <laughs> and, you know, I enjoyed it too, you know, um, every Thursday, you yeah. know, kind of keeping it running. You know, and if, in terms of the season, I think when you <laughs> when you look at the hardware, you know, um, it, it speaks for itself. You know, um, we started this thing with a mission and, and, and we achieved the mission. You know, we accomplished it, you know. So it's, 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 it's it, it felt surreal Saturday, you know. Um, Kind of out there with the light shining down on the field. The fireworks you know, just, yeah, and all the, that, yeah. The fireworks going, all the guys just jumping around celebrating. You know, um, it just felt real good to see it all come together. You know, and um, I was extremely excited about it. You know, um, and, you know, again, we got the hardware to show for it. CIAA Chance, Virginia Union University. And like I said, that about does it for this year of the Alvin Parker Coaches Show. Hopefully we'll be back again next year on YouTube and also – the athletic website, God willing, and uh, talk about the upcoming season, the 2024 season, which is going to be right around the corner. I mean, it's going to be here before you know it. <laughs> so we want to thank Coach Parker. We want to thank all of the guests, all the players, and also the staff here at Virginia Union for allowing me to be a part of the coaches show this year. Again, Cutstown, Virginia Union, first round of the Division II playoffs. You can catch that game on live stream on Cutstown's athletic website it will not be on the CIAA sports network it will be on Cutstown's athletic website to uh, to watch the game or if you just want to make the trip please do so uh there'll probably be some information I think on the athletic website on how to get to Cutstown University to see the Panthers and Cutstown play in the playoffs so for everybody here on the Alvin Parker Coaches Show I'm Sean Robertson thank you so much and hopefully we'll see you at the game. Thing is I'm already covered in blood. Walking in love. This for the ones who've been stuck in the mud. Searching for hope. Trust me, I know what it feel like to drown in my problems. But God came and threw me the rope. Can't wait to look in his eyes. All of my life I've been battling lies. I found the truth and took off my disguise. Come for my head, I still live for the prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was in the city going down trying to blow. Everything changed when I learned to let it go.